Okay, so how's everybody? Uh, you guys know me, I'm Ms. Lambert. I'm your instructor, owner, CEO, founder of BPTU. So uh, this will be the orientation for the new students that are coming in. There is an orientation on YouTube. It's some of this, just not the whole thing, but you do hear me talking through the old 36 minutes. Um, so just kind of take heed to what we are going to talk about here, because I'm pretty sure a lot of questions that you guys have is going to be in this chat. The first slide is basically talking about how to open a class lesson. This is pending when the lesson is on YouTube. You will get a link. I will email it to you or I will send it to you through Google Drive and you are able to get into the link on YouTube. There's a lot of information that I do have on YouTube. This information is for everybody. There is some information that primarily is just for students who are initiating in my class. So there are different types of YouTube videos that are out there. You're going to right click uh, on that uh, word hyperlink and that's how you're going to get in there, okay? It's pretty easy. Some of you guys are on YouTube regularly that I do see, but I'm mostly on uh, Instagram and Facebook. You guys can also check that out. Everything is Sapphire Physician Coding, okay? You also can go to www.sapphirephysiciancoding.org to set up a one-on-one. -on -one. You can text me as well. That information is going to be in here. We're going to go through that so you guys can find me. So let's move on. When you guys do look at this, you can stop it and look at a lot of the slides if you choose to, but I'm going to try to keep it moving so it's not so long. The next slide is primarily about how the link will be. Now, if I do a Zoom most of the time, I do, I'm going to put it on YouTube, pending what it is, and you guys are just going to pretty much open it up. Go on my page and you'll see all of the movies and videos that I put out there. This is just a sample of what the link looks like, okay? It's just a sample of what the link looks like. And I'm just going to kind of move through the slides. There are a couple of links that I do see that are on here. Here's one here. That's just one of the links. And you can go on there and check it out when you go to YouTube. Or I more than likely will send you a file through Google Drive. I've got this thing with Google Drive now. I think I've got it down packed. So uh, look for a lot of stuff for me in the Google Drive. You, you guys remember we used to have the other course I had a problem with that course because I wasn't able to get you guys all the files that I need to get to you at one time to make sure you were getting them. Um, now I can go through Google Drive and send you a lot of information and I kind of send you text just to kind of keep abreast with you to see where you're at and what's going on. And feel free, make sure you send me a message of what you need to do. Uh, remember that uh, Fridays, we had the Q&A. If I miss Friday, I'm definitely gonna be on Saturday, but you still can go through my Facebook, Sapphire Physician Coding or Instagram and check out some of those Q&A questions. Because nine times out of 10, you guys probably have that same question. Even if it's something you've asked me already, a lot of people are looking for that same type of question. So that's why I want you guys to send me whatever you have. Trust me, a lot of questions you guys send me, I put on q and I don't name names, but I do put on Q&A. This is my email. So I do have a few emails that we use with Sapphire Physician Coding. We have physicians at sapphirecoding.com. I also have the Gmail. So I have two Gmails. One is Lisa, uh, what is it? Lambert.lisa at gmail.com. The other one is Sapphire L-O-B-C. So sometimes you'll see me sending you stuff from either one of those emails, but you guys know that it is me, okay? Here's the mission. You guys know about the mission. I put this on several times. So people can know about, you know, what Sapphire is, you know, innovation, motivation, inspiration, leadership, education. That's what we're about. You know, it's not just about we're just teaching you medical billing and coding and we're getting ready to put you out there and you're just going to try and get this job or you're going to try and pass this test. No, we don't leave you. You get scared. We're here for you. If you do not pass the first time we are here for you. That's what the BPTU is also about. It's Black Phoenix Team Us. It's us getting together, helping each other. It's motivation. It's people who own businesses. It's people who are trying to get there. It's people who have taken steps and taken steps back. It's people who are getting back up and keeping it moving. Sometimes it's like a sisterhood. You know, people need 
people to talk to. So that's what that is about. Some of you guys, you know, you're from all over. You know, once I actually get the BPTU launched off correctly, how I want it, uh, we'll be good. It's actually in there. You know, you guys just, you know, refer to me and I'll give you an invite to come in. I'm just literally building it up, okay? And again, the BPTU is the study guide. The BPTU is what we want to get together. I want to see you guys working as a team, work together, okay? Who we are. Okay, you guys know that we are a virtual coding program. Eventually, I will have a school. I, I will have a program where people are basically coming in. A couple of years ago, probably 2016, when I first started Sapphire Physician Coding, we were called Diamond Medical Billing. And I did have students come to my house, and I had like a little setup there. But since I've moved, I've tried to get us the forefront or something where students can actually physically come into the school. So that's what we're headed towards. Right now, I do have, you know, you guys are online, the students are, it's, it's wonderful because you, you guys are from all over that are joining the course and I uh, definitely appreciate that. And anyone who's inquiring about just the course, you guys let, uh, let them know who we are. Okay, so uh, again, you know, this is like a self-taught program. I am literally teaching you how to teach yourself. Uh, I do not micro, I know I heard you, uh, you know, I'm trying to stop doing that. I do not micromanage, I manage. I put you guys in the right place. When I do the chats, yes, I want you guys to get in on the chats, but no worries. If I put it on Facebook, I'm normally on Facebook and I'm just kind of sitting waiting for questions to come in. If that's not par for you that can't make it, or if you guys do come on and I'm out there, just send me a message. Or we can do a face-to-face -face on, um, what is that, uh, FaceTime or the Google Duo, that's fine. I do a lot of those one-on-one -on -one with students because some students, you know, they, you got, I don't know why, but you guys don't want to, you know, ask questions in a big forum. You guys are ask question, asking questions that other people are not asking. Okay, so again, you know, look at it. I mean, $16,000 I think I paid many years ago to take a building coding course. I didn't think it was worth it because for what? When you can't be a coder unless you have you know, your certification. Now, I, I don't quote me on that because there are some hospitals that do take you and they give you 90 days or six months to get your, your certification. But we want to come in fresh. We want to come in with our certification. Okay. So again, there's a low cost for this program. And you guys know, I do put financial aid costs for other coding programs. I think I put one, it was like $26,000. I know that's ridiculous. I don't want anybody to get a student loan for to do coding. Okay, so we can we're gonna do that together. Okay, Lisa dot Lambert at sapphirecoding.com. That's why I get those two mixed up, Lambert Lisa and then and, and the other one. They're both the same. I just flipped around, you know, the same uh, meaning. So again, uh, you guys can contact me anytime you want to. Uh, I have my emails posted all over this orientation. You guys can find it. Uh, if you don't, always ask somebody. If you're on Facebook, always ask somebody. Go on my Facebook. All of my contact information is there. Okay. Um, so I'm reading it. It says free material to help you study and retain what you need to pass your CPC. I do give out the medical terminology book because I have it in electronic form. And I, I do give that to you. Uh, a friend of mine, we were thinking about getting the books all in electronic form and then kind of helping you guys out also with the books. So I kind of thought of that and I thought, okay, but then I kind of did like a little survey with some of you guys and some of you would yay, some of you say nay. So we'll do it again, but the books are costly. They're very costly. So that's what we were talking about, but I don't expect you guys to get all the books at one time. Uh, if you're doing medical terminology, go ahead and use my electronic book. Uh, the only thing that changes in that is, you, you, you know, the reserve date and X, Y, Z. CPT, all your coding books, they must be par when you're taking your tests. So, you know, we're, we're just going to kind of take heed to that. I'm going to see how that works out. I don't know, I may do some type of donation thing on Facebook or, you know, Instagram. Let's see how that works. I think it's a good idea, but some of you want physical books, which that's fine. You can have physical books and some of you want to do the ebooks. So, you know, we'll, we'll check it out. We'll see, see what happens. Okay. So uh, again, uh, you guys will get uh, course lessons. Uh, you'll take quiz, you'll take competencies, uh, and you will take uh, master coding uh, procedures. Master coding procedures are long procedures. Well, okay. Maybe two paragraphs, one, just to get you to that master mindful of coding. Okay. Just, you know, take heed to that. I would prefer that you guys learn the medical billing first, learn the medical terminology first, and then we're going right into coding. 
That's how the course is. How I send the course to you in the files through Google. Most of the time, I'm either numbering them or lettering them. When I send you something and it's numbered, you are going to work in that order. So you see how I, I, I make the program so that I do not have to micromanage you. It's in that order. If I send you one, two, three, four, five, you know to do one first, two, second, three, third. You, you see what I'm saying? So uh, that's how we roll in with that. And I want to make sure that you guys are abreast on medical terminology completely. You have 21 chapters. And I haven't gotten up to that on the slide yet. I don't even know if it's on this one, but I do have another slide that I'm going to do with that. But just take heed to that. When I send you the medical terminology, you read the chapter, do your test, read the chapter, do your test. I've sent you those tasks already. Okay. But you need to send those back to me so that I can give you a grade. I'm not that happy about like 70s, 80s, 90s. I'm not a great person, but I've got to do that so I can see where you're at. I'm an ABC person. You know, I'm going to give you an F if you fail. That, you just fail. Forget about the 71. To, to me, 70s, <laughs> I'm not concerned about a 70. I want to see 85. I want to see 85. You know, I mean, if you give me a 70, I wanna, I'm going to prefer that you do better because I want to see you pass that test in the, in the first shot. Okay? I want to see you pass that test in the first shot. Yeah, yeah, you get a second chance, but the first time is, you know, I, I'd rather see that. If you take it online, you just take it in two parts. Okay? You take it online, take it Monday. Don't be rushing. Don't take the whole thing. Be like, oh, no, well, I can take the other part, you know, like Wednesday. That's the gist of the online now, because you know it's short. I think it's like 400 questions now. It used to be, what, five, and then we had 1.6 something seconds to answer a question. So, not second, one minute and 15 seconds. Uh, now, as you know, they, they made it to 400. Just, you know, just take your time. If you go in person, you know, if you don't pass the first time, you can take it again. So um, the program, read, you know, re just read through the slides. You guys hear me. I'm just kind of skimming through. But again, you know, in this chat, you know, this is just about telling you about the program and how it goes. Okay. So this uh, program allows you to train at your own discretion. Okay, the courses were created individual. Okay, these formats that I made these courses in, and I say I because I made it myself. Uh, my director and I, uh, years ago, uh, he was the regional director and I was a director at the school. I, did, I started out medical, medical billing and coding instructor. He suggested that I create a medical billing and coding program. And that's what I did. And this is where we're at right now. And I'm telling him, he sees this program. I've never even showed it to the upgrades to him, but I can't wait to show him the upgrades and how we have the program. And the school has since moved off to California, but I learned a lot of what I know when I was a director at the school. Okay. So um, again, you know, these courses were made for individuals to pass their CPC. You can go on www.aapc.com and get the gist of how that exam goes. On the website, it tells you what's going to be on the exam. That's the exam that you're taking at APC.com. You must be a member to also take that exam. Okay, so when you guys go on that site, take a look at some of those things. You see things that say like credits or whatever. Disregard that that's for a totally different program. This is for your certification. You don't need credits. You don't need college credits to take that exam. You will go in as an apprentice. An apprentice is just a person that does not have experience in coding. After your six months of coding, they will remove the apprentice off of your certificate. Okay. Um, the forum. You guys know um, the forum is virtual. So when I say forum, I mean uh, I'm, I'm talking to you guys online. I'm talking to you guys on YouTube or uh, Instagram. And it's pretty much a forum. I, I like when you guys work at a team and everybody is together and giving everybody their different questions and their different thoughts. Because I, if, if you guys were in person, I, I would have like a cup or something. Everybody's putting their suggestions in there. I do that at work now. So, you know, and that's kind of like to help them improve their office. So, uh, yeah, so read your orientation and your welcome packet and uh, review all the curriculums, re review all the um, potential studies that you can do so that... You can, I don't care, be an expert. Listen, I, you're going to be an expert. This class never ends. In your mind, tell yourself that you're going to be an expert. Tell yourself you're going to be an expert. I, I don't consider myself as an expert. I want you to be the expert, okay? So again, you know, here's my email, lisa.lambert, sfiacoding.com. 
sapphire lbc gmail.com some of you like the gmail and sometimes it's sapphire is just so long you know i tried to shorten it i had a sapphire position coding and you guys know how fast i talk so forget about it okay so zoom you guys know all about the zoom that's how we do the program this is my phone number well okay that's that's the sapphire phone number you guys can use that phone number and uh, leave me a text call me google me whatever you want to do with that okay it's also a discussion board so I, I try to make it easy there are times when I, I do change the program up i change it based on your needs you know this program was created for students by students i say that because yeah i made this program to make sure everyone was able to take it okay check us out on facebook sapphire physician coding you guys know my facebook i have two one is my personal facebook the other one is sapphire physician coding not personal like that i mean i show pictures and different things of my kids and my grandkids and stuff like that there so uh but sapphire physician coding that's where we're doing the q a okay uh and this one is about the google drive uh sapphire create creates ways for the students you know that i I try to do things so easy for you guys. Like I know different online courses where you do, you have to sign in and they say you haven't signed on for three days. Where have you been? And listen, if you paid 20 something thousand dollars for a course on an online uh, school, it is a 499 course. You do not need to sign in. Okay. I know when you come and uh, open up those files, it's, it, I get a, a flag that says file has been opened. And then I try to follow up with you to see, have you, see if you've opened a file. Okay, so just remember that. So everything is given to you through Google Drive. Uh, if you're not getting it, let me know. We got to figure out what's going on with your Google Drive. But I also give these courses um, on a flash drive. So they're all downloaded on a flash drive and I ship them all. Okay, because there are some students who order from Shopify or STC and they want, they want their full flash drive. Go on in, you guys can see it. Okay, I'm not going to switch over because we need to go ahead and get through this one. Okay, so uh, Amazon.com, those that's where the books are. Okay, you can purchase an ebook um, as well. Uh, if you already know medical billing, you, you don't really need the book, but some of you who are beginners, you can go ahead and get that book, okay? And tell you all about medical billing. Coding is in there too. That's why it's medical billing coding. Okay, so uh, follow us on Instagram. You guys know that, you know, I'm on Instagram. I love my Instagram because... I do have, I don't know, I have a lot of followers on Instagram, so I try to make sure I post. I think I have almost 500 posts on there. Um, the only thing I hate about Instagram is that you, I can't write anything unless I'm posting a picture. So you might see me posting any kind of pictures or, you know, it, it always pertains to medical terminology, coding, or billing. Okay, so if I'm giving you something on a Q&A. Now, I do post other pictures there. Uh, but very minimal, minimal pictures of family. Go to my other page. You guys can see it. I'm okay with that. Okay, so let's get started. Welcome to Step 5 Physician Coding Virtual Training Course. This course is, okay, the courses are programmed to be completed within two weeks for each course. If you cannot do that, that's fine. Just take your time. But I always give you a target. I always give you a target. When you look at the perimeters, the course perimeters and the syllabus and the, 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 the rubric, those are targets. I would prefer you stay on that target. Uh, tweak it if you need to, because some of it I didn't put it in PDF. If you want to tweak your own, tweak it. I'm giving you a board to, 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 so you can follow your own. And that's the gist of Sapphire Physician Coding. Um, if you're going to do it, you're going to do it. If you're going to buy it, you're going to do it. $4.99 or, or $13.99 is not a lot of money. Uh, $13.99 is my normal price, but um, now I think I have a for $4.99. Sometimes during holidays, I kind of I kind of break it down. But um, the course is designed to help you. You can take it anywhere you want to. That's why I like the Google thing. Everybody has Google. So uh, the Google Drive. So that's why I like that. So here it says there are 21 courses. Okay, 21 courses. The ICD-10 has 21 courses. Give or take, there's an extra one in there. But you learn every single diagnosis let me rephrase that. Not every single diagnosis. Subject. 21 subjects in the ICD-10. That's what we're going through. Okay. So you go through the whole book. I want you to read those ICT, ICD, I can't even say ICD um, guidelines 10 times. Okay. Keep reading them. Keep reading them. You got to get savvy to where these codes are. 
okay? Get savvy to your guidelines. There's a section on the CPC for the guidelines. They're going to make you find stuff. They're going to make you find this. They're going to make you look for that, okay? There's illustrations there, body illustrations. Go there. That's your cheat sheet right there. You know, just you, you, you if you stick in your book, that's fine with tabs, tabs. You can't have like little stickies sticking out of your book. Those little pink. I don't have one in front of me right now. So like like these little things here. You can't put these in your book, okay? But you can have the tabs across your book where you can flip to what you want to, okay? When we go through the course in ICD-10, um, you'll see it. You'll see how the book is and how I want the book tabbed, okay? I'm going to show you how to tab that book so you can find what you need to find when you're taking that test. And I, I did drop a case on um, Facebook today. Uh, don't be scared of that case. Look at it. Look at that case. If you can't decipher and put that in the numbers, it's okay because you just started. But a couple of weeks into coding, you, you have it. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. This is a supplies, laptop, desktop, phone, PDF, scanner, whatever you think you need. That's fine. You can save whatever you want. You can print whatever you want. Um, just make sure you keep it with your stuff. But, you know, I'm giving you files so you can just put them in files and then you can open them and look at them when you want to. I kind of like the PowerPoint. Uh, I did have an issue. My Mac crashed. So a lot of stuff that I had in PowerPoint that was very colorful for you guys, you don't see. Um, but it's not about the colorfulness. It's about you getting the information. All right. But I'm going to put it back in PowerPoint. Uh, right now, the PowerPoints are just for me. Okay. So again, those are the type of things that you need. Um, you take your test. You can also scan your test back to me. Okay. I, I want to see you get a good grade on those tests. Okay. Again, you know, my email is there. You guys can contact me anytime you want to as it relates to school. Okay. So these are the course directives. Okay. Class introduction, orientation, PowerPoint, class syllabus, course description, class outline, assignments, completion, assignment, record. That's the record that I sent you, I believe, in the orientation packet. I got one that's full, and then I have one that's blank. The one that's blank, you are going to put the dates in there when you finish this work. You are going to put a date in there when you finish basic, basic, instru um, basic instructors. Okay, I want you to put that in there. Okay, you are going to put that in there when you finish those things. Bone, set, bone, finish, check. That's just for you to keep up with your work. Okay, so again, you know, first and foremost, contact your instructor for any questions. Okay, if it's not me and somebody else is your instructor, contact her. Tell her what you need. Okay, if it's a problem and you can't find it, then you can still get to me. That, that's pending and I'm not your instructor. Okay. How do you navigate through the Sapphire class? Okay, this is word for word on how you navigate. Now, some of this is from the class that I had before. But it is the same thing as you go to the system chats, okay? Go to sapphirecoding.com, okay? Have your CPT and ICD-10 book. Have your Hicks Fix Manual with you. Have your step-by-step -step book. I put a list of the books inside your orientation. It might be uh, file one, two, three, or four, but the list of the books are there, okay? So you're just going to follow everything that you have in this orientation. Some of you already have it. Uh, if you don't, you have it now. Okay, so these are the manuals. And the manuals, listen, you don't get a new book if you if you don't want to. It's okay. You can go to thrift.com and I've gotten books for like two or three dollars. I usually if I get like a whole bunch of books and what you do, I usually just kind of give them away. Uh, but you guys can also go on there and get books. The only book that I want you to make sure that you have is your all of your coding books. Okay, so uh, again, you're going to use your manual according to your chapters. If you're reading chapter one, your test is chapter one, quiz, etc. chapter one. If you are in chapter 22, your quiz is 22. You do the quiz, and then I give you a big competency with 50 in it. The only exception to that is medical terminology. Every single medical terminology just should have 50 questions. You have the language of medicine book. That is the ebook that I sent you. The first chapter pertains to the first task that I give you. I'm saying quiz and test, same thing. Okay, I'm going to grade that for you and I'm going to send it back to you. I'm going to average those grades out. You must pass the course with at least a 70. You have to pass the course because I can't give you 
um, my own opinion based on whether you're going to pass an exam or not as it relates to CPC. I need to make sure that you pass medical terminology. If you can't get through medical terminology, uh-oh, we got a problem. Okay, so you, you, you got to know medical terminology. PDF, your lessons will be in PDF format, okay? You can print them if you like. You cannot copy them, okay? There's no need to copy them because I've already gave them to you in a file, okay? You can read this. You guys know I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I want you guys to do it and, and on your own time. And remember, it's in Google, Google Drive. You can read it whenever you want to. But again, you know, everything is in PDF. There are some slides that I have sent you in PowerPoint. Uh, originally, I used to do it in, in the PowerPoint. I used to send you guys a PowerPoint, but I find that um, giving it to you in a document is better because you guys can flip if you want to print it out and you can kind of flip and look at it when you're just reading it. And that's pretty much similar to actually how I did the series. I created the series based on the PowerPoints and I put the PowerPoints pretty much in a Word doc. If you go to amazon.com, put in Sapphire Position Coding, you will see the first scene. There's 18 courses in here. Okay, you have 18 courses in this program. Books. We just talked about books a little while ago. So uh, again, the Medical Building Coding Q&A book that's on Amazon. Some of you have, who have just started or some of you may know someone who's interested in medical billing and coding and they've never done it before. They don't even know what it is. Bing! Lisa's got that covered. I've written a book. It's a Medical Building Coding Q&A. They need to get that book. I don't even think it's like, how much is the book? It might be, I don't know, $15 or $20 or something like that. But that's a good good thing to get, okay? So again, you know, sapphirecoding.com. You guys can also go on there. And I have all directions to all of my marketplaces there. Um, I'm looking at the flash drive here. So yes, I was talking about this earlier. The flash drive, I'm going to take this down. The flash drive, when people go on the marketplaces, S2C, Shopify, stuff like that, I make the flash drive available to them because I can literally just mail that out without uploading anything. So I have a flash drive, a say uh, Sapphire coding flash drive, and I mail the flash drive to them with the box and the instruction. Okay, so that's what that is. And it's, uh, again, you know, you, USPS mail, postal. I will do the mailing and the shipping is free. So again, anybody that you know who wanna do it, um, that's fine, you guys can also do that. Okay, so the, I don't know why this is here. So let's get rid of it. So the, the next slide that we're gonna do is medical billing uh, is a separate session. Now, yes, medical billing is a separate session. I did not have medical billing in this course before. I only had coding. The only reason why I put the medical billing in there was because I would approach some people and say, uh, well, do you, do you know what coding is? No, what's that? Do you know what medical billing is? Yeah, I know, I know what medical billing is. That's when you work in that car, bing. So that's why I dropped the medical billing and coding in there. Now, there are some instances that I just kind of put stuff out there and it's just coding, but I try to explain, you know, okay, medical billing is in that, but you also get the coding, you know, it's a main coding course and the medical billing is in there. So yeah, if you want to work in a doctor's office, I mean, I think it's only normal that you know medical billing. Some of you guys are already working. So, and already know medical billing. Some of you are already doing claims, 1500s, UVs. Uh, and you you know the ins and outs of accounts receivable. You pretty much know about the revenue cycle management. Okay, that's my pet peeve. I'm a revenue cycle director, so I know all about the revenue cycle system. Uh, and you know my coders are all over the place. And again, you know, you guys can live wherever you want to. I want you guys to own your own business, recruit your own doctors. You know that's what it's about. Uh, again, you know some of you already know. The system. Some of you already know the function. Some of you already know EHR. Uh, I have a couple of samples of EHR in here that you guys can look at. Um, some of you already work in Epic. If you know one, you know you know all of them. Athena, uh, 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 Biases Tiger, Next Gen. You know, uh, you know them. I mean, eClinics. Uh, Epic is the master. And let me tell you why Epic is the master because. You can do everything in Epic. They have so many different programs. This is how you do. The hospital buys the Epic program. The hospital and the market person, they design the program to how they want it. Um, it, it, it E-clinics, ECW, you got to go through here to do that. You got to go through here to do that. You got to go through here. In 20 steps, so one thing that you can do in Epic. And that's why you see many hospitals with Epic. Many hospitals, I'm going to say Stanford. Stanford Hospital does not have Epic. They use Meditech and 
They use Meditech because I, I was told um, from one of my coworkers, I think he was the director of billing. They, they didn't get the Epic because uh, they had other stuff. I mean, Epic is very expensive. They can put that money to a new office or something like that. And they did. They, they built a beautiful office and they didn't get the Epic. But, you know, at some point, I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll, they'll eventually get it. Okay. So, okay. We spent enough time on that. So this first portion is what is on YouTube. Okay. The second portion is not, I am talking through this portion, but I did not disclose the, the PowerPoints, which I mean, basically the same stuff, but it's just a little bit different. Uh, okay. So for you, those of you who are in the classroom, the archive zoom class, this is what it is. This is what they look like. And this is, you know, me telling you, you know, how the Zoom classes go. The one-on-ones, you could always schedule a one-on-one -on -one through www.sapphirephysiciancoding.org. You can text me. Um, Lisa, can we talk at XYZ time? Or just call me. If I don't answer, I'm not av available, I'll call you back. We'll get it done. Okay? So uh, you can, again, you can archive any video that you want. If there's a video on integumentary and you know lisa i don't see the video i don't have it can you send me the video google drive or attachment absolutely absolutely that's what we do we make sure you have what you need okay this is slide 26 i don't know what that is um so this is slide 26 so again um this is how you access our archive virtual chats. I'm not going to talk through it too much because I'm already um, long in this chat. And I know sometimes you guys have to go. But again, um, the virtual YouTube lessons will be locked. Okay. You have to have a link to actually get into them. Okay. And those are the ones that's just for the students who are paying students. Okay. Students primary course. Okay. I want you to read this because this is geared towards what your course is about. Okay, and the only reason why um, I put a lot of this in here because I want you to stay focused. Stay focused on what you're doing, uh, especially when you need to um, identify subjects, when you need to uh, bring yourself to a point where, why am I doing this class? How do we do this again? X, Y, Z. Don't remember? Email, via email. Okay, Instagram, however you want to do it. So uh, once you open sapphirecoding.com, this is what you will see. Okay, you're going to see site cover. You're going to see what the program is about. Okay, once the student has purchased a the course, they can access the course. That's if the student is uploading the course. If you have any problem, make sure you send me an email. Okay, and make sure you catch those promos. I see down here I've got promos on here as well. Make sure you catch those promos, okay? Promos are me sending out something saying, you know, the course is, you know, $5.99 on Thursday. Okay, so you want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me. Okay, you guys know where to go, sapphirephysiciancoding.org. Okay, so this is the end of those couple of slides that I just gave you. There's a continuation on slide 30, but I still uh, wish you guys good luck. For those of you who only was able to sit through 29, good luck. Okay, so let's move on to 30. If you didn't get through this whole slide, make sure you go back and finish it. And this is the reason why I only send you three files at a time on orientation, because orientation is pretty long, okay? So uh, here we are, step five physician coding syllabus. This is telling you about the syllabus. Again, uh, this is not posted uh, on YouTube because this is primarily for you guys. I try to put some things there so YouTube can um, kind of recognize what you guys are doing and what we're doing. And hopefully somebody will join um, from YouTube. Well, but most of you, some of you are probably from YouTube, but uh, this is information purposes, okay? 3 p.m., 8 a.m. to 1. This is when I'm mostly available. That changes, so there is a vary on that. Sometimes I'm not available, but I always try to make myself available to you guys. Uh, you guys do have a, uh, a program. You have a program. I think I have it in here. If not, it'll be in the other uh, PowerPoint that I'm going to do. Here's the office phone. Text me, call me when you need to, okay? Course competency and program subject. Remember I told you about the competency. Competencies are what you do at the end of your program. Now it's time for me to see how well this person has done. You have a 50 competency they're all multiple choice, okay? Remember, your CPC is multiple choice. So I try to mimic that. 
So you can get used to multiple choices. I have a girlfriend, um, Norma, she does, uh, she's like a whiz at uh, multiple choice. You know, I'm not good at multiple choice. I'd be sitting there for a minute trying to single out which one is which, but I'm gonna give you a trick for your CPC. When you're taking a CPC, everything is multiple choice. Stick to the question. If your answer has nothing to do with the question, you know that's not the answer. If there's a small word in there that's in your question, that's the answer, okay? If you have a question that's talking about dogs and you've got answers that's talking about birds and cats and snakes, and the last one's talking about dogs, you know which one it is, okay? And go on YouTube. They got something on YouTube that shows you how to do multiple choice. There's a trick to that thing. I'm telling you, it's logic to that madness when taking a multiple choice test. I'm not good at taking multiple choice. I'll tell you right now. I, I'll be a few minutes. Okay, so um, let's move down. Wait a minute, I think I skipped one. Okay, so method of instruction. This just telling you how the course goes, how we roll it out. Assignments, lectures, tells you how we roll it out. And you, you guys already know. You heard me talk about that earlier on YouTube, Zoom, you know, the study guides. Um, just stay abreast on what you're doing. Don't get behind because uh, I've got you on a schedule. When you first, when you purchase your course and you tell me um, that's when you're starting, when I, when I drop that invoice to you and I got a start date on you, that's your start date. So uh, those of you who have started, uh, you have invoices and you guys know I created invoice first. If you are taking a full class, you, you get an invoice, depending on how you are paying. If you go through one of my markets, you can pay through that or you can cash app, Zelly, however you want to do it. I also have a, a Sapphire coding pay, uh, pay link as well. If you're saying, okay, I want to do this course, I want to do that course, I can send you an invoice and let you know what's in the courses, okay? So um, just take heed to that. I just want you to know what's going on in the course. And when you do, when you do start the course, when you register, that's when we roll. When you purchase that course, that's the date you registered. Okay. Um, Sapphire Building Coding Session Instructor Lambert. This is all of the contact ways that you can get me. My availability, my phone, my websites, all that kind of stuff is on this page. Okay. So you see how you can relate back to this orientation and find everything, right? Program description, session, study material, flash drive, smartphone, everything is there. Program functionality, discussion board, Sapphire coding classroom files. The files are what I'm sending you in um in Google Drive. Okay. Discussion board is however we discuss. Okay. If we're on YouTube, I want to see you guys interact. You know, we're growing the YouTube. So don't forget, we're growing the YouTube. You guys make sure you join that YouTube. Okay, we're growing the YouTube. They send me some stuff. How to grow the YouTube. If I look at one more thing on how to grow the YouTube, I'm telling you. Okay, I always repeat your return. You guys will hear me repeat, okay? Visual chats, Google Drive, lectures. I do that to make sure that you are clear and you understand, okay? Now, you be sure to read this, okay? Course retrieval. There are so many different ways to get uh, your information. I might send you something through YouTube and you still have a link, okay? I might send you something through email and you have a link. When we had a course before, you go into the classroom and then I would open a classroom like that. There's a program that I am going to get. I don't know. I got to see how you guys like it. Um, and you're going to retrieve your courses like this. But for right now, I like how we're doing them. You guys seem to like it that way. We're going to keep it that way until we get the uh, official uh, school class going. Okay. So uh, again, you know, the videos on YouTube, I have videos in um, Facebook too. So um, take heed to those as well. Okay. See this one. I have something on female. When I say female, I mean female genitals. You know what I mean. I, I just cut the genital part off. That's all. Um, post to email, text to Zoom class, Google Drive. Students can now post any questions about the lecture in the comment. Okay, so you can do that too. Post anything you want. If you even after you read this, if you're going through this in your home and you're looking through your orientation and you're listening to Miss Lambert, uh, if you got your headphones on, you're walking down the street and you're listening to Miss Lambert, uh, you know, text me right then and there. Because a lot of times you don't have a question unless you're in the classroom. Well, sometimes it's just not there until you're in the classroom. Okay, so uploading lectures, you, same thing. Like what we were talking about with the YouTube and the Zoom, um, however you want to do it. Now, uh, if you guys are looking at the Zooms on your phone, that's awesome. That's amazing. That's what I'm talking about. 
I did like a test on the iPad to make sure that you guys can upload this thing on your phones uh, when I do the Zoom. So it came out very clear and it was wonderful. I loved it. Okay, course and open schedule. Okay, this is pretty much your description of your competencies. Look, it says theory, practice, total hours. Theory is discussion. Theory is us talking about the class. Theory is this, these chats. Your course chats are your theory. Your practice is your test that I give you, your quiz, your essays. That's what it is. Don't forget your essays. That, that's in here somewhere. I just kind of throwing that in. Your competency description. This is what we've done. Okay. Medical terminology, identify prefix, suffix, root words. This is what we're going to do. This is part of your rubric. This is what I'm expecting you to learn in medical terminology. Okay. No, I don't have to sit there and hold your hand. I'm giving you a book. Read it. Okay. Pass the test. Give it to me. You pass that test. I know what's good. Don't, don't shortchange yourself and get answers from, you know, like the search engine, because that's not going to help you pass your CPC. I'm, you know, it, it's not whether I trust you or what you paid for, it's you do for yourself, okay? You do for yourself. We don't have to babysit you. I mean, even people who are in school, there's people who are in high school, is 18 years old. Now, if you don't want to go to school, right, don't go. You, you're 18 years old. You, 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 you understand what I'm getting at? Like, nobody's going to make you do anything. You know, it's up to you. It's up to you. If you want to get 100 on the test, you're going to study like crazy. If you want to graduate from high school, you better sit your behind down so that you can graduate from high school. Okay. You will make the decisions in life. Okay. Again, this is a schedule continue. This is medical billing. Um, this is what I'm looking for in a medical billing. Describe the eligibility process. Okay. Demonstrate proper completion of a HICFA. That's all in there. That's what you are going to do. Okay. That's what you're going to do. That's what I want to see you do. Okay. Let's get to the next one. I got this nice and pretty in it, in like in orange. I don't know why that one is not, not nice and pretty like this one. Medical coding. Okay, so, um, and I can see an error right there. Don't ask me why that's like that. So, um, and this, this case, medical coding, this is what I'm, this is what you're going to learn from me. You see, practice 50, 20, 20 hours. When I, that's 50, 20, those are hours, okay? Medical coding. What does it say? It says, this is what you're going to learn in medical coding. Practice test, quiz, medical billing, and study guide for preview. If those of you who do not have that AAPC, okay, raw material, CPT, ITG 10, these are the things that you're going to learn in your medical coding course, okay? That's what you're going to learn. Okay, get us down to the, to the bottom. Okay, so coding cases. Um, I, I, sometimes I shoot cases out. And Facebook, I do. I, I do shoot cases out just to kind of get you guys in like a pickle of, wow, that's what we're going to learn. Yes. Let me see if you can do that now. Some of those girls are already working in coding. Can they do those cases? I don't know. I can't wait to get the answers back from the one I just shot out there. It's a long one. When you do them, I, we got to make sure they're right. But we're going to go over them. So, you know, just take heat to we'll go over them. And again, you know, this is what you learned, you know, last three weeks of session, you know, you're going to get those cases. Uh, I'm actually completing the last one now for this year. So uh, you guys are going to get those in a new session. The other ones are the same ones. I'm just pretty much updating them uh, and, and just adding in a couple of new things. Okay. So uh, there are two types of tests. Uh, you guys already know the exam, subject quizzes, and this thing is up here again. I don't know why that is um, because I have a new one. So I don't know why that's here. Okay, so uh, subject quiz, billing, coding, medical terminology, same thing. Um, just make sure you read all your chapters, read all your chapters, okay? And make sure that you are taking your test. I don't have a timeline on them. If you get, get them back to me on Wednesday, I can give them back to you Friday. So uh, those of you who do hand them to me, you you know you get your, your test back on time. Yeah, everybody gets their test back on time. If you give it to me by Wednesday, I will have it back to you by Friday. Make sure you're taking note. Avoid your scores. Take note of your scores. I also put a sheet in here for you to put your scores on. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, I think it is course documentation record. Uh, all of the courses are listed, uh, especially medical terminology on your first medical terminology body structure. I was trying to say that earlier. I don't know what happened. Just make sure you uh, put your scores there. Did you hear me say, um, I'm not going to say it again. But I'm going to try not to say it again. I don't know it's something you have to train yourself not to say. Um, I have no idea. So uh, directive, medical terminology, free book, we talked about that. 
that's the book that you guys get in the ebook. I don't have any problem sending that over to Google. It goes right over and you guys get it. Set a goal for yourself. Set a goal for yourself. It's hard to complete goals sometimes. It's not just you. It's me, us, we, everybody. It's hard to stay focused. Sometimes things happen in your life, traumatic. And trust me, I know people, even myself, traumatic. Me losing my mother king was traumatic. I'm still getting over it. They think that is easy, you know. You know, me and my mother were like, that was my best friend. That was my buddy. So, you know, you have triumphs that you have to get over. It takes baby steps to, you know, to get to where you want to be. And you have a lot of stuff in your life that you have to get through. But it takes time. It takes time. It takes perseverance. And, you know, it'll get done. Just put your mind to it and it'll get done. It doesn't have to take tomorrow. It doesn't have to be, you know, this afternoon. But just keep your mind focused on what you want to do. Quiz and test at the end of the course. So, again, you know, I have a lot of quiz and tests that are at the end of this course just so you can stay focused. And I have stuff out there that you guys can just do. If you guys want to just do the exercises from the book, you can. Do those exercises. I didn't mandate that or initiate that in the course, but I did throw that out there. And for the medical terminology, because you know, you know, you know, I'm crazy about medical terminology. Your language and medicine book. I did put question sheets in there, like answer grids. If you wanted to, uh, I have the master book for those. So if you want to do those exercises, you guys can do them. I will grade them if you want me to. Okay, there are answers in the book, but I think you guys only have the odd numbers or the even numbers. I have both, so we'll, we'll you know, I'll grade them if you just want to test your knowledge in medical terminology. Okay, but the task is what I'm looking for. That's what I'm giving you. Okay, example of work submission continued. And this is just an example. I did this a few years ago, uh, but it's the same thing of how you're going to do submission. That's all it is. We're pleased to have you in the program, introducing Sapphire Coding. Become a certified coder, become a medical coder, a facility office. Uh, Sapphire is a lifetime school. Listen, coding is a lifetime school. You're not going to forget that. And this is a lifetime course. If you guys forget and you stop doing the course three months, four months, and you go, oh, Miss Lambert, I just want to come back and finish my course. All right, come back and finish your course. Don't throw away your invoice because I need your invoice to see where you're at when you left. Okay. Thank you and welcome. So this is the end. There's my book, my book, my phone number, my book. My book is Medical Building Code Security Day. Make sure you go on Amazon and check it out. The emails, I have the Gmails there as well. Some of you, you know, you get kind of bored typing in Sapphire Coding. So that's why I make sure the Gmail is there. Okay, so um, we're going to sign off on this and I got to see why that keeps popping up there. And uh, we're just going to keep on moving. You guys know who I am. I'm Mr. Lambert. I'm the CEO and the founder of this program and all of the books that has been written. Okay. One thing that I do want to let you guys know, there is no specific time for registration. I do put registration dates out there because I would like for everybody to start at the same time. But a lot of people are working. You can't do that. So we have open enrollment. Um, basically, buy your course, start your study. Buy your course, start your study. Okay. So just uh, just remember that. And I'm going to stop the share right now. And um, here I am. So that was your orientation. This is orientation for all the students who are registered in the class. If you guys have any questions, just make sure that you contact me and we can do a one on one if you guys want to. And that's not a problem. That's not a problem. Yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to look into this camera now. So if you need uh, more time before you take a test, I initially want you guys to do two weeks on each program. It's fine. The medical terminology is going to take a little longer. But when you get to the coding, when you do, those of you who do medical billing, you, your medical billing, medical terminology, you, you're going to have ICD-10, then CPT. That's it. Then you're going to move into cases, systems of the body. Integumentary system, cardiology, okay, census. These are census, census. You're going to have uh, courses on all of that, and you're going to have cases on all of that. That's when you start coding. We, we're going to be coding crazy. 
So make sure you get your coding books. Okay, make sure you get your coding books. If you don't get nothing else new, make sure you get your coding books new. Okay, because you know you got those new COVID um, diagnoses and all those other things in there. Okay, so again, this is Miss Lambert. Um, you guys can call me Lisa, that's fine. I, you, you, you know, I hate that Miss Lisa thing, but if you have to, you know, I do, but I prefer Lisa or Ms. Lambert. Okay. You guys just, you know, call me, let me know, text me what you need. Okay. I'm going to sign off. I know my phone is over here going ballistic. So I've got to answer that thing. Um, and then I'm going to do, um, I'll let you guys know when I'm going to do it. There is a medical terminology already posted on YouTube, uh, but the lesson plan is different. Um, the, The other courses that I'm going to give you, they're in a different slide. So I have a different orientation for that. I am going to put that on there because I saw a couple of things in here that I did want to show you guys that I have in the other orientation. So, um, but you guys already have that. I've already forwarded that to you. Um, those documents are already in there. Okay. So I'm going to sign off and I'll see you guys next time. See me. I'm looking in the camera. I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Remember, call me if you need something. Bye-bye.